If you blink, you may have missed it. Um, so the black male was simply walking out of the store. We don't know what argument took place before that or what conflict there may have been. But we do know it's wrong to spit on somebody. But this person decided to do it to the back of the neck of an individual. Well, he responded with a back leg kick. I think that was an appropriate response to somebody who has decided to spat upon you. Um, really interesting. So let's put up the picture in full mass here. Uh, we have no clue as to the identity of the individual who committed this assault. Uh, but I will say this, if anybody knows this particular Karen, it's time for an intervention. This Karen is dangerous, walking around uh, doing what she did could get her seriously harmed, all right? She's lucky that was the only response to the actions she committed to. Dear brother, what are your thoughts here? Karenitis is a disease that causes middle aged entitled women to behave like animals when they don't get their way. I assume something happened in that convenience store. Like, I don't know, that man was getting a slushy and minding his own business, and she <laughs> had a problem with that. Intervention time Twitter, do your thing. Twitter usually finds these people and they get exposed. And that's how we have this intervention here. It's getting dangerous out here. And not, I'm not condoning violence, but I'm glad for once things got dangerous. For a Karen, as opposed to them inflicting danger, but getting spit on. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing I don't condone violence either. I do condone self defense. This was a self defense tactic. Let's put up the picture full mask again. All right. Just want to remind everybody of who she votes for. Her t shirt clearly says she is what? She's a woman for Trump. Woman for Trump. Yeah. That's what it is. I could have told you that even if she didn't have the shirt on. <laughs> I, I, bad visual. Welcome to Indisputable. I'm your host, Dr. Rashad Richard. We got a lot happening today. But what do we do on this show? We tell the truth. You know why we tell the truth? Because the truth is simply indisputable. Rashad, great to be here. Congratulations on the new show. And I gotta let everybody know that Rashad and I go way back. Here's the pattern that we see in all of these Karen stories. They think they own stuff they do not own. Now, where does that come from? I don't know, maybe slavery. Maybe they think they should still own black people. This is what happens when Karens weaponize the police. When you're used to privilege, equality seems like oppression. It hits you in a certain way when someone is holding you against your will, treating you like you're a criminal and you're an innocent person. This is something that black people face no matter where they are. A stronger black economy lends itself to a, a stronger, greater economy. Don't think it's exclusive of you, it's inclusive of you. What's your beef with critical race theory? It adds more fuel to the fire of the racist tendencies that we already have. We have a generation of problem solvers that can remedy the problem if they are properly taught what the problem is. You know who created redlining in this country? Mm -hmm. The white liberal. I, I, don't, I don't give a damn who created it. If it's no, a I'm, racist I'm, policy, I'm, racist I'm, policy. I'm, Shelly, that's here's what I don't know. I don't know. See, there you go filibustering, brother. You're scared of this truth, but you're gonna get it though.